Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about distance, rate, time, word problems. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math. I'm given this problem right here. An aircraft carrier left Hawaii traveling west seven hours before a container ship. The container ship traveled in the opposite direction, going five kilometers per hour slower than the aircraft carrier for six hours, after which time the ships were 540 kilometers apart. Find the aircraft carrier's speed. So these are distance rate time problems. Let's go separate it up here. The distance of the aircraft carrier is equal to the rate of the aircraft carrier times the time of the aircraft carrier. The distance of the uh, container ship is equal to the rate of the container ship times the time of the container ship. So let's plug in what we, well, know here. What about time? Well, they tell us here, uh, an aircraft carrier left Hawaii traveling west seven hours before the container ship, and then they, uh, after, was it, yeah, seven hours. So that seven hours is here, and the time for the aircraft carrier. But then later on they tell us here uh, that the container ship was leaving for six hours. After so after seven hours, then the container ship a container ship left for six hours. So the total time for the aircraft carrier out in the water is seven plus that six. Okay, and so now we know the time the container ship was out was only six hours. Okay, what about the rates? Well, we don't know the rate of the aircraft carrier, but we do know they tell us this key thing that the container ship was traveling the opposite direction five kilometers, kilometers per hour slower than the aircraft carrier. So the rate of the container ship is whatever the rate of the aircraft carrier is, minus five. And bring down the D sub C, and bring down the D sub A. Now there's one more thing they tell us here. They said after all of this, the ships were 540 kilometers apart. Now remember, they're going in opposite directions. So that means if we add their distances, distance of the aircraft carrier plus the distance of the container ship is equal to 540 miles. If we get D of A by itself, D of A is equal to, we'll subtract DC to both sides, D sub C, is 540 minus D sub C. So let's go simplify these a little bit if we can. D sub A is equal to, well, R of A times seven plus six, which is 13. So let's go 13 R sub A. Same thing with D sub C. Let's distribute that six across. Six times R A is six R sub A, and minus, well, five times six is 30. Okay. Well, they tell us here that D sub A is equal to 540, or we found, 540 minus D sub C. So let's try to get things in the similar terms. So let's go replace that. 540 here minus D sub C is equal to 13 R sub A. Let's get D sub C by itself. Subtract a 540 to both sides, and we have a negative D sub C is equal to 13 R A minus 540. If we want to bring this negative over to the other side, we have D sub C equals a negative 13 R sub A, and then that's a positive 540. Now this becomes helpful because we can use that for this D sub C. D sub C is equal to, well, negative 13 R sub A plus 540 equals the 6 R sub A minus 30. And now we have the uh, equation here. We just have our variable r sub a that we need to find, the rate of the aircraft carrier. So let's try to get that by itself. If we add a 13 r sub a to both sides, and we can add a 30, let's put our like terms together to both sides. 540 plus 30 is 570, and 6 plus 13 is 19. So we have 19 r sub a. We now divide by 19 of both sides. And let's put R sub A first. And 570 divided by 19 is 30. And our units is kilometers per hour. And so the aircraft carrier speed is 30 kilometers per hour. 
I hope this video was helpful, and if it was, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and like this video. This helps us make more free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So as always, thanks for watching. Minute math, minute math, when you need help you use minute math. Minute math, minute math, when you need help you use minute math. Minutemathtutor.com